and you're just like, everything is always changing. Okay. I don't really know what I want with the three of these. I'm kind of thinking about being a street kid. Yeah, that would be nice, Claw. That would be nice. Nomad, Street Kid, or Corpo. Do you guys have any, like, preferences or ideas if you've played this game? What the real difference is between the three of them? Yeah, I haven't, like, really done... So eat, eat human trash, be human trash. Is that street kid then? Okay, we'll be a street kid then. And we're gonna be a uh, we're gonna be a lady with boobs. And I like I'm starting to wonder if this music's still like. I'm v. I'm v. How are there? True Ferris, what's up, buddy? A lady with boobs, exactly. Exactly. Can we be as pale as we need to be? Let's, okay, let's rotate you a little bit so we can see your face because... Also, ladies end up having, in all these games, end up having way cooler uh, hairdos, I feel like. Okay, we're going to do that. Click the skin colors. Oh, like this. Like that's is like the palest one, I think. Or is this even? No, yeah, this is the palest one. I guess that's paler. Skin type. Is that just basically how many freckles we have? This is how man like. What was that? Uh, you ever see that movie, Claw Galactica? <laughs> they were not. They were just like, you get six foot three nerds. That's all you get. <laughs> or yeah, where they, they get to like genetically design their humans. Okay. You know, I always like getting dreadlocks in games because I could never pull off dreadlocks in real life. Also... Also, why can't I, like, rotate with, like, without hitting keyboard buttons? Let's see. I can't tell you how badly I hate this hairstyle right here. It reminds me of, uh, Dire Antwood. Well, true. I like the undershave. We'll go with it. Okay, we're going to pick hair color. So this is the next thing I tend to do. I like to end up having blue haircuts. I hate bangs, Bob. I hate bangs. You know it. I know it. We all know it. Fuck bangs. Now, so now I'm starting to look like continue with, with these. That looks like continue. Nothing's as bad as the bangs that Courtney Cox has in Scream 3. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go Google Courtney Cox Scream 3 haircut and the horrifying nature of that all. This is kind of cool with the blue and pink. It's like the bisexual colors. Okay. Let's see. Eyes. Are we just picking what... The actual eyes? Some of these are real dumb. I remember that. Like, this is stupid. This, like... These are dumb. 
dum dum dummy dum 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 dummy dum dum trash what's up buddy how you doing friend good day to you but like i kind of don't just want to do like oh i've got like red eyes can you it doesn't seem like it i don't know Uh, see the red doesn't I don't like that all that much don't like that I definitely don't like any of these like I know the, the thing is too we're making a character we're never going to look at if we're not looking in a mirror right You equip her job, John. Stephen Crowder's wife left him for me and my delightful moist Furby feet while we take turns banging slash pegging fucker Carlson in his puppy cage because he's adorable when he doesn't talk and you stare deep into those soulless eyes. It will. First off, Tucker Carlson is never cute. Never. Uh. And his put like. Nice trash. Sounds like you've had a productive day. Do we do that? I think we're just gonna do that. Okay. I always wonder with like, like eyebrows, like why don't they just have a list where I can fucking see them all at once? You silly fucking game. No, and we're not doing no eyebrows. I need to think do this. Um, is the government taking people out cuz you guys uh being on strike? Krem? How you doing, buddy? That's really not that many eyebrow options. Don't like that one. That one's way too big. Nope. Nope. No, we're just going with one. Like, I guess we could do, like, the same color as that. Like, nah. 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 That's fine. What? Krem, Krem, you coming in and telling us about this doesn't take our suspicion off you. We still think that you're the murderer, Krem. No one murders people in Canada. What are you talking about? <laughs> are the Pinkerton? Who the? F are those the ones that um that Wizard of the Coast like attacked? Some what the fuck am I doing in this one? I don't want I. God damn it. I was trying to pick my nose. I want skinny nose. God damn it. I'm kind of aggravated that they don't let you, like, just pick your fucking, uh, see all the noses and just pick one. Oh, okay. Let's pick a nose. That kind of looks like a cute nose. <laughs> Claw, do you pick all your friends? How many friends of noses do you pick, Claw? You know, after how much I loved Witcher uh, 3, I'm still mad that they fucked up Witcher or uh, this game so badly. Okay, which jaw do we want? I don't want to make her look too much like uh, Gina Carano, okay? That's what we don't want. We don't want her to look like Gina Carano. Making movies about uh, weird Republican things. Dude, that bitch! 
Yeah. She's making weird conservative, like, anti-vax movies. And she was in that movie they made about Hunter, uh, Hunter Biden. Okay. Okay, we got to make our cyber -y, cyber cybers. I kind of like the neck thing. Uh, Gina Carano. She lost her shit and got fired from Mandalorian and then... I kind of just want to do the... The neck one. Or the this one. Let's do the neck one. I don't want any facial scars. Let's look at facial tattoos. Rod with facial tattoos. I mean, we are we are like homeless people, right? No. Yep. Then she decided that being a dumb bitch was more important than. Okay, I like I dig that. I don't know. Oh, oh, I like that one. No, we're doing that one. That was like pretty. Piercings. Nose. So it's like rod. I hate I hate hate eyebrow piercings. So we're never picking one with eyebrow piercings. Nope. Nope. If you give me eyebrow piercings, I'm not picking it. I like the nose rings, though. What was the difference between that one and the other one? With oh, We're going to do that one. What is our... Oh. Not that you could really see, but I'll pick that one. Teeth. Why do we care about teeth? Ah! Ah! Mel, what's up, buddy? We are damaged. Look at that. We got pink teeth, guys. We got pink teeth. I kind of like this one. We got the, no, nope, 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 nope. We're damaged, all right? We're damaged. Got pink tea, so. Okay. That means we gotta go with like purple or Is that like gold? I dig it. I played it a, for a couple of hours a couple years ago, but I never really played it. With the <laughs> glossy, matte. Okay, we're gonna do glossy. Uh, we're damaged, remember, guys? We're damaged. That's our backstory. We're a homeless kid. There are some terrible ones. Nope. 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 I think the pink teeth just make it complete it. <laughs> no. Okay, we gotta pick the color now. 
How weird are we going to be? No. That does not go with our whole aesthetic. Gold? No. That's better. I know. I know. That's what's weird about all this. And I know it's weird, but I'm still doing it. What's that say about me? Oh, that one's definitely it. Her teeth are pink, Vissy. Yes. <laughs> Blemishes. It's like how many how many freckles are we gonna give her? I like freckles. Okay. That's fine. Titties! Okay, nails. We want we want long nails. Them them pink teats. There we go. And I love how her boobs are just hanging out. She's like, man, chest default. Big, small. Big. Okay. The time has come. Sound the nefferty. The Yay. nefferty. Show me them titties. Would you like to making fuck berserker? Would you like to suck my cock, Berserker? I love you, Berserker. Fucking 17 months, you beautiful bastard. Welcome back to the Empire Ride. Oh, yeah, Gizmo. I think we're going with small boobies. Small. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, nipples. Small. <laughs> that's I. You guys all said you subscribed to, to um, a certain individual of the community's... Uh, uh, only can's website just for the for the articles she put up, right? You get one like little nipples. <laughs> no nipples. I think we're just doing there's not many nipple options here. We're just gonna go with these. Only cans, yep. Dinner play. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. Remember, we're damaged, guys. That's what we're we're term we're damaged, according to Doctor Claw. Uh, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I don't know why our nipples matter, but it's not like we're gonna see her. Okay, that's what it's gonna be. We're gonna do that one. I am a nipple connoisseur. Genitals. Vagina. Okay. We have a vagina. Penis one. Penis two. <laughs> well, we're going with vagina because we're women. So then we're going to do... What kind of pubes do we want? Do we want a landing strip? <laughs> we're going to do like our vaginas exploding. Uh... Uh, and what can our pubic hair colors be? Oh, they're going to be pink for sure. We got... <laughs> okay. Okay, we have seven points available. Now, I don't know what the best way to play this game is when it comes to... I'm going to like put her boobs off screen. Oh, I, I didn't realize that those scars are cool in the back. Um, get them reduced, Vissy. Um, okay. What do we want? Like, what's the best, funnest way to play this game? Like, is it? Um, what do you guys think? What's the best way to play this game if you've played it? Control and minus sign. <laughs> Play nude. Okay. What am? What is the? <laughs> uh, I mean, we got to be cool, right? 
Okay, control increase crit damage by two, increase all resisted by one, increase stealth damage by ten, reduce the speed at which enemies detect you in stealth. Okay, we're not doing stealth. I'm not a stealth person. Is it odious? Okay, we're not doing melee weapons. Uh So where's the like way to shoot guns and shit then? Do we want cool and no, cause cool is like I mean they would all get like see her like little boobies and her, her cute tattoos and be Okay, melee I don't care about that. Uh Cyber, that's RAM. Quick hack. Crit chance. So you're saying, is putting points in tech cool then? I mean, probably. Reflex and technical? Okay, tech weapons. Um, so, so do technical ability then. Oh, I can't. Huh. Oh, you can't go above six. I mean, she should have thought about pooping before we left, Claw. See, I'm I'm thinking about just putting one point in cool because of the crit damage. Well, that is apparently what we're doing. She should have pooped before we left, Claw. A big fucking gun? I mean, yeah. And we're going to keep it in our vagina. The best place to keep a big fucking gun. In the vagina. Along with 23 iPhones. I'm going to keep 23 iPhones in our vagina, guys. Yeah. Nope, Claw, I do not. I do not. A little anesthesia. Yeah, baby. Pegging... If you guys don't know, pegging's amazing. Uh, so we're damaged. So we're going to just say fuck this and just knock back this shot. Because we said YOLO. Yeah, Claw. I'm also running Windows 11, which I don't know how much affects any of it, but. Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Oh, local guy. I'm gonna peg everyone. Really think somebody local with consent. Me, Pepe. Listen, V. I got a problem. Serious this time. Spit it out. Come on, spin it. What is it now? It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow. Said he'd bust my legs. No, that's different, Bob. He don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Man, 
man, woman, and rat, and Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint, deserved a hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. You ever gonna get wise? Pepe! Please, I think, I think Katie talked about it. I think I'm really a switch, uh, Bob, because I'm to totally down with getting pegged. Oh. Akram 657 is Akram, now thank you for that fucking follow. Welcome to Empire Rod. Oh, he'll give us no. Mm. So, Fine, I'll talk to Kirk. I'll talk to Kirk. Then you're going to owe me one. Well, I've dropped 209 frames. So let's look at our fucking... Uh, I'm going to pick everyone. Okay, graphics. Uh, do everything like that we don't want on. Is there any settings we want to uh, uh, avoid, though, guys, do, if you know? Do we not want motion blur? Where is motion blur? I'm going to turn motion blur off. Do we want mo um, We'll leave it on for now and then see. I'm just making sure. I'm not, like, dropping frames all the time. I must have dropped it at some point when it was loading. Okay. Off with motion blur? Fine, I will turn motion blur off. Uh, motion blur... RTX. I mean, I have a 3090 in a system I built in January, Krem. So I have like. Uh, why does this game seem so dark? Maybe it's just my monitor settings. Who fucking knows? DLS. This. It won't let me put that on. I mean, it is a giant fucking card. We don't want that. Uh, is 80 enough for a field of view? Uh, is it? Isn't this off? Do 69. Okay, we'll do 90. And then... Oh, on auto? Okay. Hey, oh. What are you being sad about? I can't make it 69. It's a settings of five, uh, Bob. I'm so I mean, uh... Yeah, Bob, I'm sorry. You can't. And also, and DLL. No, I, I did try. Where, where the fuck was it? Look, they're fives. You can't, the lowest you could go is 70. You can't go to 69. I'm sorry, Bob. I'm sorry, Bob. Hey, Kirk. Want to talk? V, been a while. Spin it. What you need? Pepe asked me to talk you up. <laughs> what? He too shot a hand over the Eddie's himself. Uh, tell him I don't. Fight. Who's this fat boy eating a sandwich? Hell's your problem. Cut him some slack, will ya? He'll pay. Just need some more time. That guy's got some big ears on him, man. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddie's, you gotta pay him back. With interest. It's common fucking knowledge. 
You suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No. You let him off because it's me asking. Huh. You know me. I'm a man of the biz. So I need to know what I get out of it. You know what, Kirk? I sometimes get the impression you forget you aren't from around here. Pop into Haywood for the Cyber ears. Sure. But you live far, far away in Pacifica. What are you getting at? Getting at? You probably need to think before you start something with a local son. Hmm. I'm open to other options. Mm-hmm. Cream ride there on the page. Only four of them in NC as of now. That's a hideous car. Field regional director. Two, Mayor Ryan. Three, a rental service. Uh huh. And four? Number four will belong to my client. Just as soon as you clep it for me, that is. I do this, and Pepe's debt is squared. Of course. We're a badass, man. man. My word, you know that. We don't fuck around. Whole thing simple. You swipe the rave field for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man Rick works a parking structure by Embers. I do but remember what happens with this. Ticket. They're every Friday night like clockwork. As soon as you appear, secure <laughs> Why own a rider? Gate swings up, the road is yours. Just gotta grab the ray field and roll out. Simple. Who's the owner? Just an Arasaka suit from across the water. Spews cash out of every hole in his body. And his name? How would I know? Why would I care? It's a hot item and I know where to find it. I feel like I just got hot sauce in the back Mine's of like my throat. Oh, how so? Sounds like you're looking for a sucker. This ain't no setup fee. Heard you got a good head. Maybe we help each other make a few eddies. And your man, Rick? Trust him like my own brother. How am I supposed to do? What do you think it is, Bob? Come? It's not come. Chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire, fast and easy. Kirk, wheels like this got security systems, good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. This guy looks like such a scuzz, like a scumbag. Come on, Kirk. Even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. Best keep your word, Kirk. I'm gonna kill Kirk. Easy V. Creamy Zeke sauce. Too, you know? Head to Embers in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. Wait for Shut up, bitch. Yeah. Man, they really want everything with F, huh? Hold N for photo mode. Yes, Padre. Well, who do we have here? We. Long time. This guy looks like he has every STD that exists in the uh, in the world. Yep, no place like home. <laughs> Sebastian Ibarra, haven't changed a smidge. No one calls me by my. Zoe, how you doing today, dear? Almost forgot. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Wednesday. Things, it's Wednesday, buddy. right? The same. Haywood. Nothing ever changes. I'd rather hit he looks like fucking Ron yeah, Jeremy, but with like. See, you got a good after he's been beaten work. with like prison soap. <laughs> Tell you later. Got something on my. Phone. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. So yeah, I, yeah, uh, this country man is fucking yeah. That whole Montana thing was a fucking shit show. It's all Zeke's fault. It's all Zeke's fault. The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. 
Show you where to stop. You heard him, Marcus. Yeah, but that's why Zeke had to get out of Montana. <laughs> Your return to NC has been good. Busy already? Two years gone by. Not much has changed. You know how he would. It has he would never win in fucking Montana. No. It's one of those states that just automatically wins Republican. I'll pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So, Atlanta didn't turn out like you expected, huh? Cyrus, what's up, buddy? As you can see, I'm back. If it had been better there, wouldn't have left. You hear that claw? You hear how he feels about Atlanta? <laughs> or they feel about Atlanta? Stop the car. You trying to carjack us? What's going on? Business. You carry. Yeah, it's uh, a fucking Smash world we live in, man. Up. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To settle our biz once and for all. She, our enough. character, went to Atlanta for two years and then came back. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen. Done deal. No more restless nights. Everyone looks See like fucking like I plastic. Well, Patty. One more fucking word. Stay out of this. I don't know you. And I don't know you, which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. Never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Hey! He just called me, uh, he just called me Nine Less Lives. He called me shit bucket. Jeez. It's so fantastic. Being plastic. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. It's fantastic. Being plastic. Let's go Barbie. Let's go Barbie. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go Barbie. Let's go Barbie. Uh, uh, uh. I'm pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. <laughs> Still have a piece. So many of the little shits left around here. Their spines go soft when they look down a barrel. Remix. Who is that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come. You know what he looks like? He looks like if you put Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force in a video game. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I mean, of course it wouldn't get him. Remix! And he will pay for doing so. Uh, what's up, Brandon? Uh. Thanks Pull to Evolve here. Dreams for my sub right here. A Wabba party, down Wabba down cheese. Wabba! 17 months. We've had two 17 month resubs today. Welcome back, all. Your number? Wabba, thank, thank you. To the Empire Rod. Oh, hell, gives out! Also work together again. And thanks, Vile. Oh, Brandon, I haven't. I don't even know if I listened to it because of my life. Gotta go. I gotta listen to it, Brandon. <laughs> here, we can do that in a little bit. Here. I'll be I do that. I'm good at streaming, guys, I swear. Let's take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a woman of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. I'll tell you where to go. Yeah. And now like this will be a cool breeze. Get the what fuck the out. Get the fuck out. Oh, fuck. You can drive. Now out. What, what are you doing? Rick the dick in a bit of a jam. Popo! The popo ever arrived. Stay where you are. Hands where I can see him. Nice and slow. On the ground, 
Cyrus, I, I'm excited to play it because of how much I liked uh, Witcher 3. Witcher 3 is a, one of my like top five favorite games of all time. Jackie Wells, my old pal from the hood. I see you haven't grown an ounce wiser. Hey, Detective Stintz. Been a while, huh? Inspector Stintz. <sighs> Same shit. It seems like everyone in this game's an asshole. Speaking of, your mug's familiar too. It's so good. I'm waiting. Left for Atlanta. Looking oh, for I, I forgot to hit F. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. I'm still V. I'm you still V from the block. All about me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your tone. I'm not a patient man. Come on, Stint. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up. Let's just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Man, I never played one or two. Which are one or I played two a little bit, but I've never played which are one. And man, Witcher 3 is just fucking perfect. The combat's a little goofy, but got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking him now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let him go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cuff legs broken so this trash doesn't float. You heard him. Fuck. These assholes. Ah, where's that going? Where's that going? Consent. Yeah. Fucker. I'm still, I'm still Jenny Honestly, from the block. For a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. Same. Stents is out to get people. Well, tight. Though he does have a little honor left. Really think his sense of honor saved us? What's that noise? Well, and the fact he's Haywood born and bred like us. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. No, oh, come on. Job was toxic from the start. Oh, is that what that is? The under the counter magic can't get around an alarm like that. Should have known I'd have the PD on my ass. So maybe now, as God ordained, Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. Got the job to steal those wheels at the Coyote from Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe owes him big and can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. Man, gotta wonder about Pepe letting slimy Kirk boss him around like that. Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Oh, no. Cartels? No, no, listen. Not cartels! I know those cartel types, and I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El cabrón's gotta learn. He don't do people in Haywood dirty. Come on. Let's go have some lunch. Lunch? <laughs> you would not believe my mama's chili. Best in town. Getting one of my good feelings. For what? Cart towels. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's a kind of chemistry, you know? Let's go. Come on. I'm fucking starved. Okay, food it is. Let's go. Let's get moving. Hello there, Night City! Hello there, Night City! Doesn't he look like Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force? He totally does.
They, these guys give no fucks about pun punching a woman in the face, huh? Some motherfucker somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped. Japan town. Half a year later. Years open, all right? Is the game volume okay Got after I turned it down? Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR. Sure. Sure. Why the hell not? Okay. Here. It was that fucking intro music is so fucking loud, man. Thank you, Krem. Let's begin with basic combat training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities and hone your fundamental your combat abilities. The skills you gain here will help you survive, even excel on the battlefield. I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to your advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. Because at Militech, and Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Now, station one, you maggot. You move, maggot. Move. Let's blast through a tactical target practice program. Get I think so, Arcane, or a lot of them at least. Yeah, I didn't think you'd find that too tough. What do you say we crank it up a notch? Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Let me look after this. We gotta put that. Okay, Arcane, and ever we're playing this again because Brandon is fucking amazing and it was fucking hysterical. So let's see. Uh. <laughs> Would you like to make him fuck berserker? I love it so much, Brandon. I love it so much. Uh, download that. And then we're going to put that over here. Uh, there you go. Come on, come on. No. It's hysterical. Okay. I gotta wait for it to load now. <clears throat> the consoles were the ones that really had the problems. Like, so. Not bad. But it's more realistic if the target's packing iron. Quit standing around and take cover. Took a hit. Use a reanimator to patch yourself up. Okay. 
Head to the training area when you're good to go. Oh, nice, Brandon. Oh, look. Brought some chooms with him this time. You know what to do now. Oh, he barely did any damage. I've probably played more first-person shooters than anything else in my entire game time. You can cover when you die, exactly. There, my tweet is live with Brandon's genius. Get you the chopper! Get you the chopper! This training module will teach you how to work a little hack magic on the screen to distract the guard. What do I do? Oh, you have to go F? Locked. Corpo trash. Style over substance. Good. Now take him out quietly. All right, all your... Almost, almost. Again, from the top. Okay. Who needs Work cover. a little hack magic on the screen to distract the guard. Corpo trash. Style over substance. Good. Now take him out quietly. All right, all yours. Take him out. Now we can listen to it. To nonstop. Trace of your I'm gonna send it to Rez. So she can. Especially so she can. Kind. Now pick up the body and hide it somewhere. Okay. So you just dumping it and shit. Okay. Now try to take him down in one slick move. I like how they said you can move silently and it's like you could hear them completely. Okay. Think you're ready to try hacking some gonks in real time? Have fun. More advanced quick hacks allow you to use the environment or enemies to your advantage. Okay. Now, detonate the grenade. This guy's like, what, what, huh?
needed to shut your brain down and follow orders in true Militech fashion. Under my wise command, you're a real champ. Not too shabby. Militech's algorithms put you on a decent run. Got additional modules if you want to hone any other skills. Before you finish up, don't out now. But remember, the street's not going to give you any hints or second chances. Fine. What else is there? I don't care about stealth. What's the other? I'm not doing stealth. We're out of here. No, nope, we're at done. Fuck out of here. I'm not stealthing shit. So, not bad, huh? Now we can get down to biz. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Yeah. Let's do this. It's easy work. Oh. Let's go, motherfuckers. Elevator. This way. So I don't have any other guns or anything. I don't apparently have any guns. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but. That don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. T-Bug? That's a name. Calm the hell down, both of you. Almost there. Yeah, Bug. You focus. Why do I have my gun? Be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomon. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Oh, I hate this life or death shit. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? I'm gonna steal everything, man. That isn't nailed down. <sighs> Are we fucking late? Is that her? Is that our target, V? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corporal Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky girl. Ooh, Zoe. Let's keep looking. <laughs> Don't go chasing cyber pieces. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Hey, Mira, eyes up. And the hose I hid. Drop it quietly. Uh. Gonna kill the shit out of you. Killing everyone. Many people believe we live in a time when impossible has become an obsolete term. Ripper docs can replace nearly any part of the human body with artificial implants from your big toe to portions of the nervous system. My years in trauma team, however, taught me that the impossible is still very much possible. Even now, as we enter the twilight of the 21st century, we as medical professionals have not been able to eliminate all the side effects that come from incorporating cybernetic elements into our bodies. Of course, everyone is familiar with the mental disorder most commonly referred to as cyberpsychosis, but it doesn't end there. Although advances in medical science for the greater part of a century have reduced its 
to a, a minimum, cyber relation can still occur in a small subset of the population. Those unlucky few can experience a range of complications, but the following are the most prevalent. Prevalent. I can't talk. Immune response. The body rejects the implant, causing scar tissues to continue growing to the point that it causes pain and inflammation of surrounding tissue, as well as possible interference with the text electrical circuits. Psychological effects. Neurological implants have the potential to cause unpredictable uh, changes to the brain. Possible side effects include depression, apathy, hallucinations, and sudden increases in addictive behaviors such as gambling. Implant overdependence. Long-term use of certain synthetic body part replacements can change the brain's chemistry to make it accustomed to a particular type of implant. There are reported cases of permanent blindness after patients have attempted to replace their Kiroshi optical implants with different models. In the face of these known risks, what should our outlook be as consumers and medical professionals? To deny ourselves cybernetic enhancements on the 0.5% chance we could lose our vision forever? Or gamble away our life savings at the casino? The clear answer is no. Cyberware technology has elevated human biology to the point where these what-if arguments serve against our best interests. The best advice I can offer for minimizing your risk is to read the technical techno-medical profiles for all cyberware you intend to purchase before you install it. It's a lot, Claw. It's a lot. I can even... More bodies ain't coming. They're almost on you. Big on that prima scrope she's got. Can I kill this guy? Wubba dubba dub dub! Can I scratch a lottery ticket? <laughs> 